Hello, my name is Leah Guzman. I am an artist and art therapist, and I am so excited to be your guide on this painting video where what you'll need is um, a journal and go gather whatever art supplies that you have at your home, whether it be paints, watercolors, oil crayons, uh, color pencils, markers, whatever it may be, go ahead and grab your supplies and we'll get situated and started. So my intention for you with this video is for you to experience the feeling of freedom and joy and just be yourself. I want you to tap into this heart space where you can just connect with yourself and feel safe, okay? So, you know, we've all gone through uh, dark nights of our souls and, you know, difficult times. And this is an opportunity to like use your art to step into the light. So using it as a tool to, to guide yourself um, as a way to release any kind of emotions that aren't serving you, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got our supplies. Um, now we just need to tap into our heart space. All right, are you ready? So go ahead and settle in to this moment. We're gonna be opening our heart. So you go ahead and put your hands on your heart and then one on your belly, okay? And if you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and close your eyes. Just connect with your breath. And when you take a deep breath in, I want you to come from your belly all the way up through your lungs and then release. Take a deep breath in, filling up through your belly, through your heart, and then release. Let's do one more. And then breathe all the way, fill up our belly, up to our heart, and then release. All right. Let's get started. So you can pick up to four colors that are resonating um, with you. We're going to actually match them to emotion. So what we're going to start with is going ahead and grabbing your journal and you have this flat space and we will playfully we're going to create a container so just like we we're blowing like breathing air into our belly we're going to be creating a container to hold our emotions okay so what we're going to do is go ahead and Draw a shape of your container. Now, this could be, it could look like a shape of a vase or a vessel or a circle, whatever kind of container that you would like it to be. I like to use both pages of my journal. Because it gives me more space to create. And just playfully Draw your vessel. And remember, there's no judgment. There's no right or wrong. Just what is, whatever comes out. Okay, awesome. We have our, our container. The next step is what you're gonna do is you're gonna be choosing emotions that match how you're feeling and you're gonna put them into that vessel, okay? So whatever feeling that might be, it could be anxiety, it might be disappointment, it could be joy, it could be um, excitement or curiosity, whatever that might be, match it with a color, choose some shapes, some lines, and put that into that vessel. Let the vessel hold. So I do have some various colors here, but I want you to pick whatever colors resonate with you to put that in there. I'm gonna grab some bigger paint brushes. All right. And if you are 
familiar with painting, um, <laughs> then go at your own style, your own pace, right? You can just fill it up as you like. If you're not so familiar with painting, this is no experience required, then, you know, just playfully add the colors. Um, if you layer the colors, it could change the color a little bit, but you can, um, you can add the colors next to each other so that you can see what each emotion is for you. Sometimes I like to grab new brushes so it doesn't get too muddy. I'm using the same brush here, but I don't mind that a little bit of red is getting into my peach. I think I'm gonna do a, a yellow for joy. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and fill up your container. Like I said, you can use lines. I'm just using blocks of color that I like for my emotions that I'm putting in here. And they can even be spewing out, woo! My joy color is jumping out of my, <laughs> my container. Um, yeah, so go ahead and fill up that container because I had mentioned I want you to experience freedom and joy, right? All right. And it's okay to blend the colors if they touch. They're allowed to touch. All right. So I have my container. So the next step of this is I want you to think about the feeling that you would like to have. Now I did mention I put some joy because I do enjoy experiencing joy. So I put that in there. But for the outside of your container, what I want you to think about is what do you want to surround yourself with? Okay. So we have this open container and then we're gonna surround ourselves with a feeling, all right? So we're gonna relate these to the chakras. Um, and the chakras are energy centers in the body and with each color is a frequency, all right? So when we think of the root chakra as the base, um, we're looking at you know feeling grounded. So if you happen to be feeling anxious, then maybe the color red would be beneficial for you to help you feel grounded. And you'll be able to color that um, around your container. If you'd like to feel more joy and you wanna release any type of like guilt, then go ahead and use the color orange. And that's related to the sacral chakra, okay? That's um, right below your belly. And that next energy center is that solar plexus. And that is above the belly button. And that is um, also related to power, power with purpose. I was gonna go with that yellow, but that is if you wanna like build your confidence. So if you want to bring in more believing in yourself and having confidence and feeling your self-worth, letting go of any shame, go ahead and put that around your vase. And I'm gonna show you a, a way that you can playfully put it on there. I like to do more of like energy, around it. So I'll show you how to do that. If you're wanting more self-compassion and love and peace, you can use the color green for the heart chakra. If you're wanting to have more self-expression, um, you can use like a bright blue. If you're looking for more clarity, direction, that's the indigo, that's for the third eye chakra. And lastly is that crown chakra connecting to source energy. So if you want to use either um, whites or even like purples, that would be great. Okay, so I'm gonna be using, I think a mixture of my, my peach and my red, and I'm gonna go with that sacral chakra because I'm actually liking that joyful color. So I'm gonna mix up an orange and I can playfully just go around. I still didn't <laughs> clean my brush, but remember, there is no judgment here. This is just all about being playful and expressive. It's about releasing emotions. All 
All right. So we got one. So again, talking about the energy, I'm going to move it into my yellow. I'm going to add, oh, that's the yellow one here. So I'm just doing lines around it to represent that energy. It just feels good to put those lines down. You can use more than one color. Now I'm gonna use a green. I like that idea of self-compassion. I like this dark color. I'm going to bring that back. It was like a dark blue. And I have that. So I'm going to bring it back. And again, I'm, I'm okay letting the colors touch. Right. I think I'm going to bring more of that green on the top. No right or wrong, just a playful expression. Bring back that yellow. And I'm gonna take that yellow back at the edge. Which actually is looking like a green. Just filling in the block, the last of it. All right, and then I'm gonna do the other side, just to balance it out. Right, so lastly, we're just gonna look at our piece and think about what it is that this piece is releasing for us. So you're going to 
You can add any words. Um, if you'd like to write on top of your piece, you can. If it's releasing um, any kind of emotion, you can go ahead and identify that. You can give your piece a name, whatever it is that you'd like um, to let go, and then what it is that you'd like to bring in as well. So what are you going to surround? What's that energy you like to surround yourself? Ah, well, that was fun. <laughs> I'm hoping that it brought you some joy, some inspiration, um, some good feelings. I just want to let you know that this is such a powerful practice to tap into your own feelings and then have that opportunity to playfully create and express and release. So if this kind of content resonates with you, I would love to invite you to my monthly membership in the Creative Soul Society. Uh, we focus on self-care practices through art. We meet two times a month uh, for art making online. And so it is a lot of fun. It's all about clarity, uh, community, connection. Um, so if you'd like to be with like-minded creatives, you're welcome to check out more of the details below. All right, sending you so much love. Um, and I look forward to seeing your art in the future. Bye.